What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? So, Beauty and the Beast, Tom, Skull Island, Logan, Episode 8, Last Jedi, the teaser best trailer. love letters to Hollywood that we have this ever seen. This film is a masterpiece. So, until the next time, goodbye. Mission Impossible Fallout is the sixth film in the Mission Impossible franchise. It's once again directed by Christopher McQuarrie. He's becoming the first director to direct more than one Mission Impossible film. He also directed Rogue Nation, the most recent film. And this is in fact a direct sequel to Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I didn't know that going into it, so be warned. There are lots of plot points that continue, namely the villain is the same, Solomon Lane from uh, Rogue Nation. So just know, um, maybe catch up on some of the things that happened in Rogue Nation before going to see Mission Impossible Fallout. And I definitely suggest that you do that, because you'll enjoy it a lot more. Um, I hadn't seen Rogue Nation, but I still enjoyed Fallout a lot. It is definitely one of my favourite action films of the year so far. Um, definitely one of my favourite films of the year so far. It is a just a very, very entertaining, well-made film, and mainly that goes down to Tom Cruise and director Chris McQuarrie, because they're the ones making the action scenes. Tom Cruise is just a beast in this film. He's charming, likeable, he brings it. Of course, you already know that he does all his own stunts. The stunts in this film are just exhilarating. There's one halo jump, that's high altitude, low opening, that he does uh, out of a plane uh, into um, this opera house in Paris, and you literally follow him. The camera follows him, jumping out of the plane into the open air, and it's, it's, it's thrilling to see him do his own stunts. So the action scenes are great, they're all shot in really, really great wide shots. There's this one great shot of him just running along a rooftop, and it's great. Um, so that goes without saying, the stunts are really what draw people into this franchise. And normally the stunts are the best part, and the story is okay, but I really enjoyed the way that the plot went in this film. It's confusing, but not convoluted, you know. There are lots of dots to keep track of, and you connect them yourself, and it really forces you to pay attention. You understand that there's this overarching plot about nuclear weapons and terrorists, and you understand all that, but there are also lots of minor twists and turns, and that's really what I enjoyed most about the film. It's also shot gorgeously. Um, the, the cinematography really evokes classic spy films. I just love the espionage feel. You know, the, the dangerous aspects, you're always living on the edge, so many twists and turns, double crossings, I, I love all of that, and that's really what I love most about uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, just, it really is a great spy film, and I think it's my favourite spy film since Skyfall, and Skyfall was six years ago, and I loved Skyfall. Another thing I really loved about the film was the, uh, the team interaction, Ving Rhames, Simon Pegg, and Rebecca Ferguson, they basically make up um, the former IMF team, uh, it's now... Tom Cruise's sort of elite squad, and you really get the sense that they know each other, that they care for each other, their interaction really sells that, and it really makes you believe that they've been working together for a long time. Henry Cavill is also in the film, and he is great. Um, there was lots of talk about the moustache that caused so much uh, controversy with Justice League and having it digitally removed, but it's really nice to see him play a different sort of character, you know, a character outside of Superman in the DCEU. Uh, actually see him in a proper brutal fight scene, throwing proper punches, not just, you know, stunt doubles and all that. A bathroom fight scene in particular um, is where Henry Cavill really gets to show off, um, and he really brings it, as does Tom Cruise. And another funny thing was that Tom Cruise is getting old now, and there were some really funny moments when Henry Cavill really shows him up, because Henry Cavill is the younger, arguably stronger spy in this film. And the way that they um, used Tom Cruise's age and how he's getting older, how he's not as fit as he used to be, uh, for humour, I found really enjoyable. The opening credits are also really awesome. The, uh, the the music has been revamped. It's more like techno. It's really oomphy and in your face. I uh, The opening credits are just... They, they gave me goosebumps. That's just one of my favourite sequences in the entire film. Another great bit is at the end when there are basically two parallel stories going on. Tom Cruise is trying to do something while Simon Pegg and uh, Ving Rhames and... Well, the rest of the team, they're trying to also stop something, but they both have to get something done at the exact same time in order, you know, for bad things not to happen. So, I really liked it. I, I did really like Mission Impossible for that. The pacing is spot on. It's a two and a half hour film, but it never dragged. The only um, flaws that I have with the film, I would say, is that the first five to ten minutes are quite slow. It does take a while to get into it. Also, I know that this is a tenant of the Mission Impossible franchise, but the whole exposition dump and explaining the whole plot in the beginning of the film, it, I, 
it just seems silly to me because you know this is a very serious spy film where everything you know it's it's meant to be taken seriously but it's also there's also an aspect to all of these films where you know there are masks and uh, there are some some very silly aspects and I just thought that they sort of conflicted but I can't really you know critique that because you know that's what the franchise is all about um, there's also a bit with Tom Cruise's wife um, and I, I really didn't feel any emotional resonance uh, I didn't really buy into the fact that he actually had a wife in this universe I don't think that she was really necessary in this film she was sort of shoehorned in but other than those minor flaws I had a great time with Mission Impossible Fallout I could see myself seeing it again it is my favourite spy film in a very long time one of my favourite action films of the year so far I'm going to give Mission Impossible Fallout an A- minus. Definitely check this one out. Tom Cruise is great. The stunts are really fun to watch. I, I love the feel, the direction, cinematography, acting. It's all spot on. Definitely go check it out. So those are my thoughts on Mission Impossible Fallout. If you guys have seen it, let me know what you thought. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And until the next time, goodbye.